What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute rest day deep stretch. So grab your mat and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 20 minute rest day deep stretch. You don't need any equipment today, just some space to move obviously. And I want you to, although this is called a rest day deep stretch, I want you to incorporate this throughout your week at least three times. It's August Athlete Month when I'm posting this video live, so to move like an athlete, you have to recover like an athlete. And in recovery, you don't have to just sit still on the couch all day not moving, but you just have to actively be moving your body in a way that doesn't require a ton of push against resistance or a ton of endurance or a ton of impact, okay? You can still stay moving, do some yoga, do some stretching like this, but we need to move your body consistently because our bodies are designed to move, and that's kind of what we're exemplifying in this August Athlete Month. So use this stretch at least today and three more times throughout the week to keep your body moving, keep you functioning well in and outside of the workouts, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Place your hands on your hips and I want you to turn your feet out just a little bit. We're gonna start with the arches of our feet, kind of work up the kinetic chain in the back of our bodies and then come back to the front, okay? So lifting your heel up on each side, you're gonna switch every three seconds. In three, two, one, here we go. So switch over and start with just lifting the heel, stretching your arches. And then if you feel good, when you stretch your arch, you can kind of lean over, put a little bit more pressure on it. Okay, but just be cautious, not too much. We keep the ankles safe. Good job. I stressed in, in the description of the August Athlete Month, mobility is a big part of this month. So this stretch is gonna be a little bit of flexibility, so a little bit of static stretching and a little bit of mobility, having you move through stretches a little bit slowly, but still moving. Okay. Let's go one more each foot. Great job, and drop your heels back down. Now let's turn your feet facing straight forward, and we're gonna stretch out the calves a little bit. So bending one leg, keeping the other leg straight, you're gonna push your knee forward so you feel that stretch in your calf. Keep your heel glued to the floor, and then switch. Okay, one side might be a little more flexible than the other, like me, <laughs> or you might be good on both sides. Either way, just keep your heel down and feel that stretch. You wanna keep your knee lined up with your toes, so make sure you're not in here. Push it out, keep the heel down. Good job. And when I say kinetic chain, I just talk about that because everything in your body in some way is connected. So when you think about a posterior or back of your body, kinetic chain, you start all the way down from the heels and you work your way up the legs, up the back and up to the back of your head. All of that is connected, it all works together. So I wanna get that moving, I wanna get everything loosened up so in case you're feeling a little tight in one area of that chain, the rest of it can kinda of calm down so you can work on rehabbing, recovering that area. Okay, come back into the middle for me. Turn your toes out just a little bit and let's shoot your hips out side to side. Okay, find a, a toe angle that's comfortable to you but I want you to feel this on the side of your glutes here. Keep both your feet flat. You're doing great. I know for me, I can feel this all on the outside here. And let's go one more each side. Over and over. All right, come into the middle and I want you to keep your feet here, dropping your hands down to the floor. I want you to put your hands down either on the floor or on your legs and open up your chest to the front here. Okay, pushing your hips back. I want you to feel like you're trying to get your hips away from your head. Okay, let them sit way back. You should feel this really deep in your hamstrings or in the back of your legs. If you can touch the ground, you can go onto the floor. But regardless, if I turn sideways, 
you'll see how I'm kind of floating my hips backwards. Okay, so I'm not just over here stretching, but I'm shoving them backwards. Keep your hands right here and let's bend one leg at a time. Shifting side to side. I'm gonna do all these stretches that feel really good to you. So you're bending your legs right now. Keep them bending one leg at a time. There you go. Now I want you to keep your legs straight and shift your hips over side to side. So you're kind of making a big arch on your side body. Good. And you'll feel that again all down the back of your legs and even up into your hips, your obliques. Great job. Let's go three two, one, and walk out into a pike position for me. Okay, I want you to bring one foot up right underneath your uh, belly button or under your stomach. And drop it down, heels are both down on the floor. I did this stretch a little bit yesterday as well. But both hamstrings should be feeling the stretch here. Bring both feet up together. Let's go ahead and switch. Great job, keep that breathing going. All right, good, step both feet back together. And I want you to come up halfway, rounding your back out. I want you to stay right here. Kind of open up your shoulder blades away from your spine. Good, and relax again. Shake it out a little if you need to. Come up halfway, really arching your back. Tuck your chin down and open your shoulder blades out away from your spine. And relax again. Let's go one more time. As you come up, grab onto both hands and push down towards the floor. Good, beautiful job. Drop your hands down onto the mat and walk out forward. Pike position again. Just stay right here for a second. Let your head dangle right between your arms. Come up onto your toes and bend your knees just a little bit and straighten. Bend and straighten. Stretching out the arches of your feet again. Bend, straighten. Give me one more. Bend and straighten. And now walk out to the outer edges of your mat, keeping that pike position. I want you to roll your spine up and back. And you're not coming all the way into a plank. You're just pushing up, weight is in your hands. Push back, weight is in your toes. A little bit of core strength involved here. Good, pull your abs in as you shift your weight forward and push them back out. All right, let's go ahead and drop down to our knees. We've been moving a lot here. Now let's widen your knees out, sit back. Okay, and walk your hands out front, just reaching your fingertips as far out as you can. And we're just gonna rest here for a second, okay? Opening your hips, stretching out the muscles in your back and in your arms. Breathing deep and relaxing completely.
breathe in and out big deep breath in for me exhale bring your hands right underneath your shoulders and I want you to push up Okay, stay in the seated position and let's arch your chest open and good come back onto all fours for me you're doing great you're just staying moving a little bit more today than normal all right take your left arm and I want you to tuck it under your body dropping that left shoulder to the ground okay using your right hand or your top hand press into the floor so you're pushing that arm down to the ground and you're twisting your upper spine. Great job. Bring it back in and let's switch over to the other side. Same thing. Okay, tuck your arm under, drop the shoulder to the ground, use your top arm to press into the floor and twist your upper back. Great job. Come back up to the center. And let's make big circles with your hips. You're coming here, reach side, back, side. Okay, and if you want to make it a little bit more extreme, reach your hands out a little more. You can go really far back and really come out wide with your ribs as well. Okay, so think about making a big circle with your spine or with your tailbone. Great job. Give me two more circles in this direction. And then we're going to switch. Okay, different directions, same move. Big circle. That's it. And one more big circle back. And press your hips down to the floor. Relax your toes, okay? I want you to have your legs just straight back. Keep them on the, uh, on the mat so they're not super wide. And really open up that chest so you've got a lot of flexion in your lower back and a little bit of compression there since so often we are sitting in that rounded back position. Slowly lower to the floor. Wiggle your toes out. Let's roll the ankles. There you go. And drop them back down to the floor. Keep your legs close and big press away again. Good job. Your body really needed this today. Your mind probably also really needed it. I don't think there's ever a time where I've gone into a stretch and come out of it and thinking, man, I just wasted my time, right? I always feel better, so keep remembering that. Each time you do a stretch, it's only 20 minutes and you're gonna occupy your time with 20 minutes of, you know, maybe social media or TV that you could kind of skip over that and just do something that makes you feel really good. Really connect with yourself, all the things that you're grateful for. Good, lower back down to the mat. And let's pull the legs back up again, ankle circles again. Just talking to a member of our Sydney squad about just starting even a morning ritual, an evening ritual, a five minute alarm in the middle of your day, just taking mental time. Time to think about all the things that make your life great, all the things that make you great, not just you know the fact that you are this to this person, not the fact that you're an employee or a wife or a husband or a mom or a dad or brother or sister, 
but all the things about you, like your characteristics and all the great qualities that you have. Go ahead and relax your legs down. Push up again and let's come up onto all fours. Swing your left leg up. Okay, back leg stays down. Relax your toe. All the things about you, maybe you are really dedicated. Maybe you are really a hard worker. You are a lover of learning. Maybe you're really great at staying disciplined. Maybe you're very positive. Maybe you're optimistic. Maybe you're great at being grateful. Think about all the positive things in you, outside of all the hats that you wear. You, as a person, you are your constant. You spend all day with yourself. You will spend the rest of your life with yourself. You've got to learn to love yourself. We all do. We all have to focus on that more. Shift your weight back, straightening your front leg out. And come back forward, drop it down. Let's get a little bit of a flow going here. Okay, push into the floor, shift back. Pull it back up, push down. And back. And down, and let's go one more time. Push it back, back, back. And stay back here, and I want you to drop that leg that's up front right now, down onto the floor, crossing over your body. And let's go into a pigeon pose here. So both, floor, or both hips are facing the floor. I want you to lower your chest and push it back up again. Okay, lower, lower, lower. Tuck your chin, pull back up. Okay, use your hands to support you. They're doing the lowering and the lifting. Just control your spine. I know this is not a typical <laughs> pigeon pose, but I want you to stretch deep and then come back up, relax a little bit. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Come back up, relax a little bit. Let's go two more, nice and slow, okay? Down, 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 chest going down first. Tuck your chin as you push back up. One more, same thing. Lead down with the chest. And tuck your chin, push back up and away. Great job. Let's just sit down and shift right over into that hamstring hip flexor stretch flow with the other foot. Okay, so for me, right leg is up top here. All right, I'm stretching hip flexor first. Make sure this front leg isn't tucked in to where you're up here on your toe, but that it's so far out where you're just sitting your flat foot down, okay? And then you're gonna shift your hips facing forward. Let's just sit in these positions for a second, and then we'll get into our flow. Good job. Big deep breath in and shift your hips back, pulling that toe back up towards your knee. And walk it back forward. Drop your hip down, just relaxing your back foot back there. Anyone else feeling a whole lot better? Me too. So glad you showed up for this today. And push it back. Don't forget, you're doing this three more times this week. I promise you will thank me. Your body will thank you. You're gonna sleep better, you're gonna move better. And that is a process. Just like getting stronger is, you will start to reap the benefits the more it becomes a consistent part of your life. All right, let's move into our flow. Okay, so place both hands right inside of that front foot. Tuck your chin down as you push your hips back. And flow back up front. Down, down, down with the hips. And back. And down with the hips, come back forward. Push it back. There you go, keep this moving. And let's go two more. Back. 
and forward and drop back into your hips. Good, now let's swing that leg right under your body, going into the pigeon pose. Okay, hips are facing the floor. Your hands are out front. Okay, again, everyone is at a different level here, but let's just get seated right here, forcing your hips to the floor. Leading with the chest, let's lower with our arms as much as you can. Tuck, push back up. Chin up, chest forward, down, down, down. Tuck it in, come back up. Down, down, down. Tuck the chin, push away. Lead with the chest. Two more, nice and slow. Here we go. Chest forward, lower. Tuck the chin, push away. And last one. Lead forward with the chest as much as you can. When you get to that fully stretched position, tuck your chin and push away. Beautiful job. All right, let's tuck that knee back down. Hands are down, hips are down, or knees are down. Tuck your toes and push up. Slowly walk it back in. And grab onto your elbows. Roll up nice and slow. And there we go. That's your beautiful, hopefully you feel so much more amazing than you did when you started stretch. For today, like I said, keep doing these stretches, okay? Keep doing the things that consistently make you better. And I truly believe stretching is one of them. Okay, if you're doing the push-up challenge, I keep saying it in the previous workouts this week, but find a door frame, hook your hands on the back of it, and stretch your chest. If you're doing triceps, make sure you're bending over, pulling, stretching your triceps. It's gotta be something that you continue to do. Okay, as we continue to work on getting stronger, you've gotta do the same thing with your flexibility and your mobility. They're all gradual processes, and the goal is always progress, okay? So make sure you're aiming for your progress, appreciating the process, and I hope you guys enjoyed this stretch today. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you wouldn't care for me, please, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.